today I will be demonstrating the collaborative features supported by Google Slides. With the onset of COVID-19, the traditional methods of teaching learners within the classroom setting and working alongside with colleagues has swiftly changed and become increasingly more challenging as many are working remotely from school. A simple program that can be used to enhance collaboration amongst teachers and learners, colleagues and learners and learners when working on a project is Google Slides. The reason I have chosen Google Slides is because it is relatively new to me. I have traditionally worked with Microsoft PowerPoint and have enjoyed it. However, Google Slides offers some wonderful collaborative features that are handy while working remotely. I will not be showing how to build a Google Slide, but rather the features that support collaboration while working remotely on a slide presentation together with a colleague or a group. So let's get started. I am on the Google Apps page. I'm going to click on slide. Now, if I were starting a new slide presentation, I would click here. However, I have prepared a partially completed slideshow to show the supportive collaborative features of Google Slides. Furthermore, I also have my colleague Andrew Vogel saying here to pretend that he is re working remotely and we will communicate with each other so that I can demonstrate some of the specifics. So why Google Slides? It is cloud-based. It allows for easy access. You can work both online or offline. It allows for automatic saving. It enables live linking to videos and pictures, which can easily be embedded. It is also easy to embed in other platforms, such as WordPress. With Google Slides, you can email or share the presentation directly to another colleague or group of members. There is no copying and pasting several copies of one presentation back and forth, which can result in confusion and frustration. Once you share your slides, you can collaborate and edit in real time with others. You can actually see the editing being done live in front of you. You can create comments to share ideas, seek more information, ask for help, or ask a question if you're unsure of an item that is being presented. Comments enable you to have a running chat between yourself and others working or editing a particular area within the presentation. It allows for seamless collaboration while still working on the task at hand. This is a great aspect. It supports team teaching planning, departmental collaboration presentations, assisting individuals or a group of learners on a project, and can enable or facilitate learners to collaborate amongst themselves. You can also see previous versions or histories of slides where you can pull previous pictures or phrases to replace a newer portion of a slide. And lastly, Google Slides is free. Who doesn't like anything that's free? It's also fun if you enjoy making slides. I'm going to go back into the regular working screen. So this is an example of a slide that I made that highlights the various careers programs available to students at Fort St. James Secondary School. I've used the hierarchy design all I needed to do was go into insert, click diagram, down the right hand side are various diagrams that somebody can choose to input into their slide. So again, I chose hierarchy, that was the one that was going to work for this slide. So back to the slide, I'm looking at the different programs. On the right, I have programs where students can earn credit. On the left, I'm missing some information. With Google Slides, once I've emailed it to someone in my group that's also going to be working on the slides, they will have access to this, this presentation and they can also work and help me develop it. So if I look up at the top, I can see that Andrew has received the slide presentation because his picture is up at the top. And it also tells me he's currently working on the slide presentation as well. So I'm going to go over to the comments section, this little conversation bubble, click on it, click on comment, 
and I'm going to type Andrew a quick message. Andrew, can you please fill in the missing inform information on slide number three? Hit comment. And I can wait for Andrew to answer me back and either provide me the information or he can actually type himself what the information is. So you can see it's highlighted. It's telling me right now that Andrew is going to fill in the information that is needed to complete the information for this slide. I can also go in and edit it, or he can edit it. it the program picks up spelling errors. It's very user-friendly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I explained why Google Slides is a great real-time collaborative tool.